Hi everyone, welcome to a very windy Snetterton circuit and it's a very special day today because I'm going to do a passenger ride in a, a Volkswagen Passat BTCC car being driven by Nick Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton's brother. Um, I, I don't really know what to expect to be honest. Um, I've watched the BTCC for over 20 years. I've always wanted to have a go in one of the cars so um, I'm going to be taken around here by um, Nick who races in the championship and the car is um, it's a Pucker BTCC car it's uh, running on usual boost, it's um, as it would have raced over the past few years, so I'm really excited to see uh, what it's like out on track. How's it? Yeah? Yeah. Right.
So I've just done my, my hot laps with Nick. Um, so first of all, Nick's a really nice guy. I actually had a bit of a chat with him. Um, and I think it's great that, you know, a disabled driver can compete in a championship like the BTCC at a high level. Um, and there's a few um, things in the car to, to help him. So different pedal setup, etc. cetera. But, um, you know, really, uh, really nice guy. And he, he obviously um, he has got a lot of talent. The car itself, I mean, I, I got in and uh, managed to get in eventually, getting past all the roll cages, got myself into a very tight seat. Um, as you as you could imagine, it was completely stripped out. Um, very, very high spec car. The first few laps were actually warm up laps. Um, so it really gave me a good appreciation of what drivers have to do to get heat into the tires, heat into the brakes, a lot of weaving on the straights. We did some burnouts coming back into the pits. That was pretty cool. But in the, in the hot lap itself, or hot laps, a few things jumped out on me. I think first of all was the, the engine power. So um, the BTCC car has about 360 horsepower. It's about the same as my road car. So I didn't really think it would be, you know, that impressive, you know, because uh, I'm kind of used to it, but it really went. And I think it's because it's a lot lighter. And also the gearbox is it's a sequential gearbox. And it really kind of push, punches you in the back when it changes gear. Um, but the, the main, like, the really impressive thing was the brakes. I mean, coming down the, the back straight here at Snetterton, we're probably, you know, knocking on 150 mile an hour. And um, he braked so late into the chicane and it was it was just an instant hit, you know, and it was uh, no locking up. It was just really, really, um, what, how can I put it? Really um, an instant stop, you know, and it was uh, quite well controlled, but, but the cornering speed was amazing. Um, BTCC cars don't really have a huge amount of downforce. Um, it's not really what the championship's about, but they have wings and splitters, but they have obviously quite sticky, slick tires. Um, but the, the grip in the corners was brilliant. I mean, going through, um, Corum and the, the bomb hole, especially here at Snetterton, you really felt it, you know, as you're going through. And it's it's different to like karting. Um, like if you did 10 laps in a really quick cart, you'd really feel it in the neck. But with this, if you did a, say, a, you know, a 20 lapper at Snetterton in a touring car in a race, you would really feel it at the end of it. Because it's just a very physical um, place to be, very physical cockpit and environment. Um, but what it has done is just given me a, a higher appreciation of what a professional racing driver can do. Um, and we all, we've all been on track days and driven things. I mean, I've driven, you know, F3 cars, I've driven V8 touring cars, I've driven an F1 car years ago. And, you know, but I drove it to my level, to my ability. Um, and what, what this showed me was the guys who race in the BTCC are really, really at a top level in terms of um, driver skill. So, Great day, great experience. Thanks to Team Hard for putting this on. Um, I'll remember it for a long time. Thanks to Nick for being an excellent driver, excellent chauffeur. And um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon.